Scene one, take one, Talon, install. Hi, my name's Austin from Seasucker, and today we're gonna show you how to mount a Talon bike rack. But before we do that, we're gonna show you a little bit about how they work. What we use is a vacuum mounted system. So this pumps right here, and to demonstrate how it works, we're gonna cover the hole, press down the pump, and it holds. Remove your finger from the hole and releases the vacuum. This vacuum six inch cup is gonna give you a pull strength of 210 pounds per cup. Before you go to mount your Talon bike rack, you need to make sure you remove the protective covers from the vacuum mounts. Now when you go to mount the Talon, you need to make sure you're working with a clean surface. The best way to do that is just have a rag and any extra water from a ride, wet your rag, and clean off the surface. To clean off the cups as well, to make sure there's no debris, and also get them a little bit wet to help create that good vacuum seal. When you go to mount the talon, you're gonna give a little pressure on the top and pump, you're gonna pump, until you no longer see the orange indicator band. A little pro tip is you pull out the pump real quick and you keep pressing in. And that will actually strengthen the vacuum of your rack. We'll take off our front wheel. Just set it to the side. Set our cranks even so we don't damage our car. Lift the bike up. And place it on the fork mounts. A little pro tip, what I'm doing here is pushing my hand against the lever and tightening down the skewer nut. Adjusting so I get the right pressure for the forks where it's not too tight, but not too loose. Just like if you're putting on the wheel for your bike. And that right there is gonna give you a nice hold. And we're now gonna mount the rear tire. I'll take off our vacuum cover we will clean our cup off, give it a little moisture, make sure our surface area is clean. We're gonna put our bike in line and even apply pressure, pump to that orange indicator band goes away and do our little pro tip of pulling out the pump to create an even stronger hold. Now we're mounting our rear wheel strap. We're gonna pull it over the rim and make sure it's on nice and tight. That bike is going nowhere. And the last thing, we're gonna put on our little crank arm strap to prevent our crank from spinning while we're on the road. My name's Austin Powers with Sea Sucker. Hope you have a great day.